Hey, collective. Let's see what spirit has for you guys today. I hope you guys are doing well on this beautiful Monday, wherever you are in the world. All right, we're just going to jump right in, clear. I already meditated on the energies, and we will just see where spirit wants to take us today. All right, spirit has an interest for you collective today. Unknown, okay. Knowing the unknown, I might be talking to somebody who's very intuitive, someone who's uh, quite tuned in to their intuition. This is about really focusing internally. I, I don't know why I want to say to feel like you're safe too. Somebody might be getting ready to kind of step out into a new area or maybe out with a new person or maybe you're just trying to hold space for something that you, or someone, okay, uh, maybe that you're wanting in your life. Hmm, that's interesting. Distorted perception of reality is rarely what we are raised to believe it is. Oh, okay. Well, I definitely agree with that part. <laughs> um, so somebody may actually be questioning a lot of their beliefs. Perhaps you're going through a bit of an awakening here or someone who is around you. Uh, you know, I didn't go into this with any kind of intention, so I don't really know if there's going to be another person involved at this moment. It could very well be you. This is definitely talking about tuning in, though. Tuning into your higher self, your higher wisdom, and as you do so, beginning to really kind of clear out um, a lot of distorted beliefs that you may have had for a very long time, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to call that an awakening because that's exactly what it is, or an ascension of sorts, okay? We start to really um, go through a lot of our belief systems, and it can be kind of quite shocking, actually, initially, just because we've been conditioned so heavily most of our lives. And they can be about anything, it doesn't have to be about one thing, but obviously usually very big things in our life. Interesting. That's actually a beautiful thing. Wishful expectation. Acknowledge the smoke and mirrors in your life for what they are. I cannot believe this. Okay. <laughs> so all of these cards kind of fit together. All right. Perhaps you have felt like you've been deceived in some way, or perhaps life has not flown the way that you have wanted it to. Okay, because of conditioning in your life, perhaps you're also noticing that some of your old belief system, perhaps even your patterns, um, the way that you behaved in situations, all of that was based, <clears throat> okay, on some kind of misconceptions or just, just perceptions and how you perceive things, again, based on how you were raised. And now you're really tuning in to the unknown. You're learning to embrace that okay what is unknown and really open up to your intuition and learn some new things about yourself and about how to love yourself and also others and actually just to get through life you know in a very positive way that makes you happy yeah melting mass because of all of it it says allow your spirit self to shine through the many roles you fulfill this is gorgeous yeah because of that i think you're going to be changing on some monumental levels here I think it's going to help you really and quite literally in every area of your life as you begin to change, as you become to unveil yourself, become the real you, uh, the most unique you that you can be, fully standing, I would say, in your power. Um, yeah, just allowing your true self to really shine through here. I think you're going to start to attract a lot of people and experiences that really resonate um, very deeply with that. And I think they're also going to be at your level. I think perhaps a lot of you guys that I'm talking to, perhaps you've been attracting experiences and things that you're just like, how did that come into my life? Or why do I keep doing this? Why is this happening over and over? Well, this is why. Uh, it looks like you're going through a time of self-evaluation, which is a good thing. That's never a bad thing. Okay. And you're, you're figuring out that, you know, perhaps it is old wounds. Perhaps it is old, um, just old conditioning or patterns that you may have had. That has kept you kind of in limbo in many ways and that is profoundly affecting the outcome of different situations but you're getting through that so that's the most important part here all right let's look at this i think i'm going to start with let's start with 
spirit. Okay. Whoa. Lovers, first card out. <laughs> Clear. The spirit, what do we have here for the collective? What do you want to share with them today? What's the message? Actually, hang on one second. I'm going to have a truck outside. I'm sorry about that, guys. I always let my doors open, and I know it get, can get quite busy over here during the day and a little bit loud. So, all right, Spirit, what else do you have for my collective today from the Kipper? This is really gorgeous because this definitely shows me that somebody is doing a lot of changing internally, like a lot of changing. Hmm. All right. Wow, look at this. Great fortune. <laughs> I just heard waking up from a long slumber. So whatever that means, maybe that, I mean, obviously I feel like with everything that's going on here, they're telling me that somebody is waking up from a very long time of kind of being in the dark, if you will. And I don't mean just sitting in dark energy. I mean of not really living uh, an authentic life, okay? So this could be somebody that you're dealing with as well. If you don't feel that it applies to you, it could be both of y'all, okay? Um, something has definitely come in, I think, to shake your shake somebody here to the core. And it looks to me like because of it, there's definitely an awakening that's happening here. It could very well be a, around a lover situation, a very sacred love here. We also have a great fortune. We have house. We have adjudication. So this may be somebody who you had a relationship with already. This could be somebody that was in the military here. Um, it could be a police officer or perhaps somebody that works in the court system in some way. Some kind of official person here regardless it tells me that you have come, some kind of great fortune coming into your life at this time okay perhaps that could be it could be through work it could be all the hard work that you're doing um you know just kind of building yourself up i feel but also just building your business up and going after the things that you want it looks to me like you're going to have a lot of success in that area I'm wondering if you have been with this person, this lover's already. If not, this may actually be a new lover that's coming in that's going to bring you great fortune. But I feel like if you've been with someone before, if you had some kind of connection, maybe you had some kind of ties to them, a marriage, a contract, something like that, uh, this may be coming to an end. But that's not really what I'm getting. But that could very well be for a handful of you guys because I said it. <laughs> I'm reading the energy, so probably is. Um, but it looks to me like you have a love situation either, I don't know if it's been stagnant, older, or even new as you are changing here. I'm kind of feeling like I'm talking about this person. Got to be honest with you. All right. Maybe they were a lover here in the past. Okay. Um, maybe they are making some much needed changes here within their own life, but I'm feeling like they want to come to you and bring you some kind of great fortune here. Somebody may be actually getting a divorce or going through some kind of legal situation is what I'm getting. It could very well involve a house uh, in some way. I don't normally see that this way, but I'm, I'm kind of feeling that. It feels to me like maybe it's involving some kind of house. Maybe it's involving some kind of assets. Maybe this is involving some kind of marriage. So maybe... If someone, if this person was with someone else, maybe they're now trying to move towards you. Yeah, let me get some more on this. What else, Spirit? Clarify the lovers, please. Clarify the lovers, please. Yep, look at this. Wealthy man. Okay, so you could have been dealing with a wealthy man. I guess you could be a wealthy man as well. Honestly, this could be some money that's coming towards you. This could be brand new. It could also be because you have decided to really embrace the unknown. Look at some of the distorted perceptions that you had in the past. Begin to really raise your awareness and, and leave some of those beliefs behind. Sit down and really evaluate, evaluate those um, and let some of them go that no longer serve you. It could also be due to this wishful expectation, which says, you know, you're acknowledging that you had a lot of smoke and mirrors in your life that maybe you weren't seeing very clearly in a past situation, and now you are. 
allowing that melt the mass to melt okay so that you can be the most authentic version of yourself and because of that you're attracting in this new lover and this looks like a wealthy man to me i mean look right beside it literally says great fortune but i'm going to clarify it anyway so this may be i don't know why i just heard capricorn no idea where that came from but it could be a wealthy man any sign is what i'm getting here i see the lovers here is also about gemini Clarifying, uh, great question, please. Hmm. All right, let's try this again. Oh, this one's trying to fall out. Yeah. Okay, great fortune. Okay, well, this is about distant horizons. This can be something that may be a little bit far off. This could be someone also that lives at a distance from you. Maybe someone that you met while traveling or will meet while you're traveling. If you guys are getting ready to travel, I know that summer is pretty close here. Um, but it could definitely be someone who lives pretty far off. Again, this could be someone you've been separated for, too. Sometimes when I see distance horizon, it usually means about a year or two to me. So it could have been someone that you were talking to, potentially, you know, a year or two before that maybe you've been out of contact or someone that you dated before. And that's coming back around. Look at this. Yeah. And the house is all about... So we see a man here that's really thinking about a woman, okay? It can be vice versa. It doesn't matter. It can be a woman to a woman, man to man. It doesn't matter. Okay, but somebody is clearly thinking of putting a lot of thought to someone here. So someone has been thinking about you a lot, whichever role you play here. And I, I think really curious about what's been going on with you, how you have been, um, if they know you or if they don't really know you in that way and just want to get to know you. Maybe they're finding you pretty mysterious. Maybe they're trying to figure you out is what I'm kind of getting here, just the way he's looking. He looks a bit perplexed too, like, you know, they're just really trying to get more information on you, figure you out, figure out maybe where you're at in your life, maybe even where you're at if you know this person, maybe you had to get away from them, okay. Um, maybe with the house here, they want to have a, you know, maybe they want to have a home with you. If you have not already in the past, maybe they want to, you know, maybe they want to live together. I don't know. You know, they could very well want to live together, but they might want to just have a, I feel like you feel like home to this person. No idea why I'm getting that, but I'm getting it very strongly. So this may be, this is either someone that's going to come in and you're going to feel like home to them, or this is someone who you've been with that just can't get you off of their mind because you do feel like home to them. Maybe they've also been through a very difficult situation up here. Okay, and maybe they're just, you know, they want to talk to you. They want to think about you. Somebody could have also here with this wealthy man. This could very well be the person you was dealing with, or this could be a new person also that's coming in. Clarify adjudication, please. I feel like there's some kind of legal proceeding going on, though, with adjudication. I guess someone could have also got locked up here, but I'm not seeing that as this. It could be, but I mean, for some of you guys, but I, I'm really seeing this more as a, it just looks to me like it's more of a, a legal binding contract in some way. So it could be a dissolution of a marriage very well. Expectation. Look at this. Okay. So if you were dating this person before, honestly, or if you were knowing them before, maybe y'all were friends, maybe you were lovers here with this first part. Obviously, this person, you know, feels like they're going to have a lot, if they don't already have a lot of love for you. They understand there's an ex expectation from you. Okay. And that expectation is that they cut all ties with anybody else that they were dealing with. Um, especially if they were in a marriage or you would not actually move forward with this. Okay. We see this with this card as well. This person's really thinking, I think if this is the case, you may not be talking to this person and it may have been a while since you did actually speak with them. Okay. Whether you're a man or a woman here, you could also be the person here that's really raking in the money. Okay. You could be living quite successfully at the moment. Okay. And this person is just wondering what you're doing, how you're doing as they're kind of getting through this process here. If this is a divorce, there may also be a house that's involved. That's what I'm getting. But again, they know that your expectation 
is that all of that nonsense has to be left behind, that you're not going to be in some kind of third party. You want that done before they even try to come back and talk to you. So they're well aware, I feel, of what is going on here. Well aware. This is really weird because some of these people are not going to be married. I do feel like there's some kind of legal binding contract here. I'm being, I keep being drawn back to the house. I don't know why. The house is like the center of my focus here. So maybe they purchased a house with someone or they're on the deed or yeah, something like that. They're trying to get out of, but it could have been a relationship in the past. I feel like one party is pretty reluctant to allow that. Look at this. Yeah. See, this is somebody that wants to court you. All right. It's somebody that wants to, and it could be this official person here. I told you they could be previous army or not army, military um, or officer or anything along those lines. Someone in the legal system doesn't have to be. Certainly a position of power, I feel, or authority in some way. All right. But this person wants to come to you. I think they want to come to you and show you that they care. I think they want to express some things to you, show you that they're very serious. Maybe they just have to get this situation out of the way before because they knew that they couldn't come back. I feel like there's been some kind of halt in communication here, perhaps a long time with this distance horizons while you've been really kind of working on your, your own money. It looks like your own stability over here doing quite well. Okay, this is what you've done in the interim. Okay, perhaps you've ran into some great fortune over the time that you guys have been apart here. All right, but this person just can't get you off their mind. And I feel like they've really been trying to move faster to get things in the works here so that they could come back in and actually treat you like you needed to be treated. So this person may not have ever made whatever you guys had public. It could have been kind of hidden. Um... I feel with this courtship card, perhaps you guys didn't go out as a couple, if any time, if you, you could have, but I'm feeling here that they didn't court you properly for some reason. So maybe you guys didn't get to go out, you didn't get to do things together uh, as a couple, okay? And I think that they really want to show you that. They want to show you that they can do that, that they want to do that. Maybe they didn't tell you what the limitations were before. They just were kind of in and out of your life. Wow, okay. Let me get some more information on this person's spirit. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get some messages first and just see what this person may want to say to you, like a player. Spirit, what might this person want to say to my collective? I want to see what this person's hat is. Now, if this is a brand new person, then you need to know, too, that they're probably coming out of some situation. You may already know them because somebody definitely cannot keep their eyes off of you. I just keep going back to the I don't know why I'm very, very drawn to the past here. I think this is someone who definitely knows you. It doesn't have to be, though. Whoa. Okay. All right. Let's see. Yeah. So this is a person that told you before probably that they wanted to be alone. All right. They're a loner maybe. Maybe they just used that excuse to you as to why they couldn't be with you for the time being. All right. And it's because actually it's, it's not that they just wanted to be alone. They had some other stuff going on. Now they could have been coming through this situation when you guys got together. Or they might have just had a, an ugly divorce, something along those lines, when you, got to, uh, when you guys got together. Something like that. But they definitely felt like they wanted to be alone at the time. I don't think they trust relationships, trust people maybe, but certainly not relationships. All right, what else do you have? Yeah, I come alive with you. So you're going to know this person, I feel like, from that, okay? You guys had a lot of chemistry together. Um, you may have made each other laugh a lot. Your energy was probably very high together, very lively. Like you both just, it's like electric, right? So you guys just really love to be around each other or even talk, even if it was via text or however it was that you communicated. You just felt a lot of chemistry between the two of you. They are telling you that they have financial issues here. Interesting. All right. 
So whatever happened up here, especially if this was the wealthy man here starting here, then it looks to me like they may have had some, some things, some assets maybe be taken away from them. I don't know. I'm getting this. Is, this person may also have some poor spending habits too. Okay. They may just be trying to take care of too many people is what I'm getting. Could be both for that matter. I do feel like there's a lot of work involved for this person, so I don't think they're lazy when it comes to their work by any means. I just feel like they, they're not getting ahead for some reason, but I feel like they could have also lost some assets here. Why do I feel like this person is taking care of other people? Somebody might be taken. Oh, it says I'm too immature. <laughs> what is going on here? I feel like I got that the other day for another sign, or maybe, maybe it was a collective. So crazy. Okay, so this person may feel too immature when it comes to you. Maybe they're not ready for love. Maybe they didn't handle their last relationship very well, and they're starting to really evaluate according to the top cards as well, if that's for them, um, some of their behaviors and why things have not succeeded in their life or maybe in their relationships. But it does say, I'm so happy that I found you. Okay. Hmm. Now, there might also be some kind of age gap here. It doesn't have to be because maturity is definitely not about age. I know 20-year-olds that are really mature, and I know, you know, 50-year-olds that honestly need to grow up. <laughs> or at least mature up. I don't care if they grow up. All right, it says, I feel alive when we kiss. So this may have been someone who you have been, obviously, who you kissed. Okay, been intimate with in some way. This reminds me. They want you to remind them how it felt. They want you to remind them what it was like to be with you, to be around you, what love is like, what real love is like. It's what I'm getting. Oh, wow. There's that you belong to me again. This card keeps coming out. I don't know what is going on with that. I mean, you can see how many cards are literally here. It's insane. Probably 80-something. But that you belong to me continues to come out. So somebody might be a bit possessive of, oh, here we go, I gotta adore you too. Possessive over you, definitely feel like they adore you though, but I'm looking here too, it says that their mental health is in a bad place on the bottom of the deck. So maybe they are having some issues right now in terms of mental health, maybe they're depressed, maybe they're having a lot of anxiety. Could really, really be working on them, especially, you know, if they went through something also that took a lot of their finances and just an ending period, it could also take a toll on someone mentally and emotionally. It does say, I messed up, I know. Definitely somebody that you've been in before because they are acknowledging that they have messed up. It does say that they trust you and then you complete them. All right. So they do trust you. And, that, you know, that's really... This is really, I think, a big thing for this person because I don't think this person trusts people. I think this person has a lot of trust issues, in fact. I also think your person might be a bit of a people pleaser. I don't know why, but I just really strongly get that. It's funny because I look at this big, strong man and even this person here is the, who is the official person. So much is expected of them, and I think outwardly they just look like they have it all together, but truly they're saying here, I'm too immature. And, you know, obviously they have a lot of, they have a lot of trust issues as well. Okay, so a lot has definitely happened, I feel like, in this, or with this person, or around their life. I would say probably, it may be going on right now, honestly, but certainly with the last few months or so. I don't know why I feel like somebody could be around this person, too, that is just not the best influence, somebody who could talk down to them. That's definitely not good. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. I've literally just said that. It says enemy in disguise. Revenge, tactics, and anger. Everything isn't as it appears. What? And then soften your heart, exposing the bare soul, showing vulnerability. I just said I feel like somebody talks down to this person, treats them very bad. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'm very, I'm very much so being drawn to whoever this was that this person was with that was, you know, from before. I don't know what it was. Was it a marriage? Was it a family situation? Was it a friend situation? Something like that. I said this person has a lot of trust issues. I don't feel like they're trusting people too much. And here we have it. Okay, I think this is probably why. Perhaps whatever happened to them took them by surprise. 
perhaps a lot of deceit was around the situation. There could still be a third party that's involved, okay? Even if they're not with this person that's trying to create some kind of uh, havoc, I would say, on this person and certainly on the relationship that the two of you have because you can't have one without the other, right? <laughs> so maybe they don't want you guys to be together, okay? So if you know anyone who's like this, maybe this person's family, oh, it's not for you guys being together. Maybe they disagree with the whole thing or maybe there's some kind of third party that's really trying to keep them. Um, even if they're not with them, it's like, I don't want you, but I don't want anybody else with you, that sort of thing. But I do think that somebody wants this person. I'm not sure why, but that's what I'm getting. So I think someone may want this person, want them to be in their life, but this person's kind of turned their back on them. And this person has been doing some shady things. That's what I'm getting with this en uh, enemy in disguise. Probably just to keep the person or even to keep them from moving forward. So probably some energy manipulation is my first guess. Um, that seems to be all the freaking trend these days. A bunch of desperate people. But if it's not that, I mean, they could be doing anything. They could be throwing up things, trying to ruin their name, saying terrible things, anything like that, okay? But I think that this person here really wants to soften their heart to you. That's what I'm getting. They really want to show you that they can be vulnerable. I really, oh, see, I just heard they need your vulnerability too. See, they're missing you silently. It says that they're swimming in memories here, the nostalgic emotions, which we actually saw right here. This person is just thinking so much. Right? Can't get the other person off of their mind. <laughs> Notably, I just noticed I put the card, you belong to me, on top of it. This person needs some kind of softness. They need some kind of reassurance. They need somebody, I feel like, that has a, I just heard a sound of mind. So if you give this person wise counsel or advice or anything like that, if you've been a good friend to this person, I feel like they really could use that at this time. Whatever they've been through, I feel like it's been very harsh on them. Not only on them physically, but also mentally, because we did see the card about mental health as well, and emotionally, okay? Again, this could have been with some third party, I'm telling you. It could have been with somebody who they ended up getting involved with, especially if you guys were taking some kind of break, all right? Somebody, if y'all were together and they stepped out, or if you guys weren't together, maybe you were just friends and they just chose, you know, another person, whatever, um, that might have turned into a bit of a nightmare for them. Yeah, but here we have the knot is tied. Mutual promises made. So this could have been somebody that they married, somebody that they... <laughs> wow. Yeah, this could have been somebody that they actually were married to. All right, so perhaps you could have actually been the third party in this situation. Maybe you were actually the tempting offer that they just couldn't resist. All right, but this person was actually married to someone else. Now, they could have also went in a different direction tried their hand at marriage and found out that was just a disaster as well. They are not being treated very well is what I keep hearing. Somebody's not pulling their weight, I think, in this situation. I don't usually, but I'll be honest with you, I do not delve too much into these other situations because why? You know, what difference does it make? But these cards are coming out, so I will address the energy that I'm getting on it. I feel like somebody is not pulling their weight in this other situation or was not. I think that there's a lot of, um, there might be some passion, honestly. Maybe that's what started the connection. But it seems to me, maybe they felt they were alike or, or somewhat alike and can make this happen. It could have even be financially based, but I think this person may have started to get their finances drained a bit and find out that the other person possibly was not pulling their weight in this situation. And that it wasn't really built around um, love, okay, it wasn't really built around emotional fulfillment, it was built around, you know, perhaps some kind of financial agreement is what I want to say, but this person definitely wants to communicate with you, okay, I think they're really trying to compose their thoughts here, put them in writing, perhaps put them in some kind of message to see if you would even talk to them, maybe you've cut this person out, or potentially uh, blocked them in some way, certainly moved on, uh, quite possibly with your life. I don't, I, I gotta be honest with you, for me, I don't like that this person's so possessive. You might not mind that. I find that a lot of people don't, but this whole you belong to me is kind of a strange thing to me. Um, but, you know, if you like that kind of thing, I do think this person might be a little bit controlling though. And that would actually line up here. I hate to say if they're in some position of authority, but I mean, that does become kind of their status or the way they carry themselves, right? This person does want to send you uh, some kind of message here. 
but this is their thoughts. Even if they come across very light when they initially start, I think they're very, very possessive over you. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, look, all emotions invested diving into you. This is what they want. So like I said, even if they come across kind of just like, you know, I'm not giving you a lot in the beginning. What they want to do is give you all of them. They want to be fully invested is what I'm getting. Look at this. They want to start a legacy here. So they might want to wife you up, husband you up, whichever. Okay. But it says creating a life together and higher commitments. Okay. So whatever they were in before. And by the way, all of this other situation here, this could have been something that they went through. Okay. Prior to even meeting you, to be fair. I don't know. All right. And maybe they weren't quite out of it, or maybe they were just coming out of it and they weren't quite healed. But I'm going to tell you, for some of you guys, I think that this was while when you guys met or whenever you started talking to one another. That's what I get with it. All right. So let me see if we can get some outcome messages. See what we have. Very interesting read here. So they know that they messed up. They know that you're the person that they can trust and the person that has their back. They want you to remind them what it feels like, it seems like, to be happy again, to be with someone maybe that cares, who treats them right. I have mixed emotions, but I'm going to keep my emotions out of it. <laughs> I'll just say honor and love yourself first and foremost, and you'll know what to do. Everything else will fall into place, right? All right. Yeah, distracted. Yeah, see, this is where they're at right now. I'm feeling very distracted, it looks like. Um, it says they've been careless in the past. They probably need help right now. They definitely feel overwhelmed. I talked about how they needed you to kind of talk to somebody that could be there and kind of be vulnerable with them because... They're just, I, I think they're just going through a lot. Whatever they're going through, I feel like there was some kind of deceit here, honestly. And they're not really sure how to get through that. It does say determination here. Look at this. Finances, independent self-discovery. So this person could also be trying to get to a place. They could very well be focusing on their finances. I picked that up when they said they had financial issues here. Um... They could be heavily focusing on their finances, so could you, but also into gaining some kind of independence here, it looks like. Um, even self-discovery, you know, that was one of the first cards that we pulled out here. Um, they might be going through a moment here or a time here where they're having to really see some things for exactly what they are, even some of their own ways, all right? I think this person, this, this independent tells me that somebody here was codependent, honestly, and I believe that's what was happening here. This person was attached to someone else, maybe for financial means or something along those lines, and they're trying to become more independent. But this person has a lot of work to do. I'm just going to let you know that. I'm, that's certainly not a, that's not a dig at anyone whatsoever. We all have our work to do, um, and it's very positive for the ones who want to do it, you know. All right. Yeah, look. But there are some possibilities here. More to come here is what it's saying. So could this come together? Absolutely. There's a lot of mystery, I think, in this in this situation at the time. But this person is definitely going to reach out to you. It may start slow. And I don't think it's going to take very long for you guys to get back to a place where you can talk and possibly flirt again. Okay. And just kind of see what is able to develop from that. And it says awaken. Look at that right there on the bottom. Alchemy, a new plan, never the same. So whatever has helped or happened here, I feel has really awakened maybe two people, maybe you and this person, okay, to who you are, what it is you're deserve, you know, what you guys deserve. You may have had to come in kind of into their life and even if you didn't realize it, wake them up enough to start coming out of a bad situation. I don't think this person likes change either. So you may very well be dealing with one of the fixed signs. Doesn't have to be. A lot of people doesn't like don't like change, but I do feel like I might be dealing with one of the fixed signs here. So let me see if I can get an advice card. Hmm. Let's see. Spirit, what words of advice might you have for my collective today? I didn't throw any tarot, did I? <laughs> Oops. Oh, sorry. You know, I do what I'm led to do. So this is where we went today. Still a great reading. 
Right. Any advice here from my collective spirit? Yeah, because that there is a lot of feelings and emotions here, and to really pay attention to those. Not to be led by your emotions alone, of course. You need to make sure that you're mashing up your heart with your head prior to making any decisions. Yeah, look at this. Crisis, I'm telling you. And this person might also be in a lot of emotions right now. Why do I feel like I'm reading for a person that's not even you? I guess if you wanted to know about your person, we definitely covered it. All right, look at this, though. Feelings, emotion, crisis, and victims. So again, I go back to what I said before, you know, about the emotions, making sure that they are in check, making sure that they're very balanced, balanced in your head and your heart. This person might also be very lost in their emotions right now in a bit of a crisis if you look at this, okay? It could even be some kind of dark night of the soul. We started out all of this with distorted perceptions and about a need to change. It says reality is rarely what we are raised to believe it is. So this person might be going through all kinds of growth of their own that might be creating quite the crisis in their life. And what I mean by crisis, is it really a crisis, right? But definitely an internal crisis because it's shaking up their whole world. When we change internally, usually externally, we begin to change everything as well. So this may very well be why they could be getting out of a bad situation or even losing uh, relationships or changing so much that they're really seeing the truth behind the people that have been around them. Uh, this person may feel uh, like quite the victim, honestly. They may feel like they've been done wrong. They may kind of have a victim mentality anyway. Perhaps that's something they're also seeing now. Okay. I'm drawn to this person's childhood. No idea why, but I am. So, um, yeah, I think that it may actually have something to do as well with their childhood. Maybe something that actually started there and just kind of continued on. So this person may, if you guys ever got into arguments or anything, they may have like accused you of something and then just ran off, playing the victim for themselves when it was done. I think they have the tendency to do that. Hmm. Interesting. Seeing themselves. Yeah, see, that was all illusion. Then we have Maya here. All right. And I think that's where they're understanding. That's, that's kind of been a pattern from the past, right? Here we see the mirrors, the smoke and mirrors in our life. That's been a pattern from the past. I think that was very deeply conditioned here within them. And because of that, I think it created a lot of illusion, but also had them really running from situations, all right? Running from anything that was really truthful. So if you came in and you really shined your light on this person, even without meaning to, because you, you know, you just carry a lot of light, which is a beautiful thing. You know, it could have highlighted a lot of things within this person, but I do think that they are taking action, whether that came through, hey, let me just take action, or whether spirit just said, you know what, if you're not gonna leave a situation, we'll just go ahead and, and flip it upside down for you, because, you know, spirit does that. <laughs> we we will be prompted to take the reins several times and if we do not then they will just help us along so it could have been with a job could have been definitely with a relationship i'm feeling even it doesn't have to be romantic but any of their relationships but i feel like this person might be coming out of their illusion and that's the most powerful part here mm. Turn them around a little. I didn't mean to draw that, my bad. Yeah, see, I'm getting a good read on them now. Look at this. Yeah, a lot of anger and rage here. But honestly, this is also not only with them. I think what they were kind of holding with them before, maybe that's also if they were a runner, why they did that. They didn't understand what you were triggering. It could have very much so angered them. Maybe they didn't want to express that in front of you, but I feel like for some reason you may have seen another side of this person that you might have been a bit uncomfortable with. Yeah, because I definitely feel some shame around this as well. I should have just read these cards. It's unbelievable. There's a lot of beautiful cards here, but look at this. Yeah, they're embracing their shadow now. Okay. Definitely embracing their shadow now, understanding it much better, making some changes, some much needed changes in their life so they can try and get back to a good place. You may have been the best thing that ever happened to this person. I'm just going to be honest with you, just because I don't think they've ever really known possibly true love, but I also feel like I don't really, I don't think that they've known something that was really stable in terms of, you know, 
maybe just having a relationship. Maybe it's always been a bit tumultuous. But look, there's a death and a rebirth here. Okay? They're embracing their shadow. They're dealing with their, their things. Okay? Their traumas. Their, I don't know, conditioning from the past. They're killing their ego here. here okay? Death of an ego here because they want to have happiness and joy in their life. They're going to have a rebirth here coming back into their own. And when that happens, I feel like there's going to be a lot of play here, a lot of playfulness, a lot of fun times. This person can get back to being their self or honestly, maybe even being a much better version of their self than they have ever been because it's going to come from a very healthy place here. And with that comes ecstasy. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. So you guys can have extreme happiness together once this person is actually able to make their own changes. Unbelievable. This is crazy. I feel <laughs> from start to finish. I mean, I really see a person that has is seems to be deeply in love with you, seems to really trust you, seem to understand that you're the one that's going to be there for them, wants to reach out, communicate something to you. But I think they've been in such turmoil here trying to get through their own stuff. They haven't really known which way to turn. But this person's not, this is not a person, by the way, that just sits back. And, and it's not proactive. So I feel like they will look online. They have looked for resources to kind of help them figure out what this is, grow beyond this. They may also watch readings or, or something else, anything spiritual, you know, because our, our soul is faithful, right? Our soul will always guide us to what it is that we need to see, um, especially when we're starting to go through an awakening. They'll continue to, to nudge us into the places we need to be. And I think that this person is really awakening at this time and finally embracing this shadow and clearing out a lot of things, okay? Because they do want to happy, they do want to be happy. And I feel like they want to be with you. Okay. They want to go through life with you. They want to really enjoy you and everything that you bring to the table and everything you guys can be together. That's what I'm getting. Wow. Okay, my beautiful collective, so sorry that your person took completely over in this reading, but um, I think I'll make this a reading about your person, all about your person. <laughs> so if you're interested, okay, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.